Now with 10 News Morning Original. New reporting first at 6. As social distancing becomes a regular part of our everyday lives, one North County company has found a way to help make sure that people stay far enough apart in public. ABC 10 News reporter Jared Aaron shows us how this new tracking technology is taking flight. And turn it on. All right, controller on. Placing aircraft in P mode. This drone. Going to a hover. Could help end the pandemic. In order to give people a better uh, comfort out in public, they need uh, insight as to the environment. Yes, sir. Charles Moss with FD1 Drone spent the past year writing artificial intelligence software to use the drone's camera as a measuring tool. In the last month, he shifted its focus to track crowds. It identifies people and their motion as far as if, they're, if we're practicing social distancing. Cameras should be down at 90 degrees. The drone sends a feed to a computer. Green boxes mean people are six feet apart, red too close. It can also search for masks. Using me as a model, the screen shows green with a mask on, red when it's off. This is a tool. All this is is the ultimate tool to enhance our current ability. Moss gave us a demonstration at a beach, but says this can work at concerts, playgrounds, shopping centers, anywhere people gather to help manage crowd size and keep people safely distant from each other. He's been in touch with several cities and schools, but says budget and training concerns are keeping this technology grounded. That's our whole intention is to use this technology for the well-being and safeguards of all, all, everybody. We call it AI for good. A plus, A plus. Beyond the pandemic, Moss says his drone and software could be used to spot wildfires and even measure deterioration at coral reefs. Jared Aarons, ABC 10 News. Charles Moss says the software could also be installed in a streetlight camera. It does not have facial recognition, so he says it could not be used for surveillance. Virginia.